Our next guest has been lighting it up, so to speak, for four years here on the 40 Acres. It is NECA and Impale. NECA, you know, you've been so good individually, and obviously the team is so good right now. We just felt like we're going to have you co-host this whole segment because <laughs> you're already an old pro at this, right? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Yeah, no, you definitely are. <laughs> you definitely look like an old pro, too, on Sunday as Texas took on Northwestern State. NECA is going to help us out with this one, but Karen Aston had some words beforehand. Y'all are in charge of your team today. You need to make sure we get matched up. You need to make sure we know what we have on dead balls and that we know what we're doing, okay? Because there are going to be times that you're going to be playing in games where you're not going to hear anything I say anyway, so you might as well get used to helping each other, okay? And it starts today. She was ready to go, huh, Neka? She was. Yeah, well, obviously some members of the volleyball team in attendance. Early first half, you guys fast break. It's been a nice part of your game, and Kelsey's been awesome this year. She has. She's been really, really good at um, finishing around the basket and also hitting open jumpers as well. And you had plenty of options for Longhorns there. Later in the first, Texas up. You guys are up 10 to nothing, and Empress Davenport going coast to coast. What do you like about her play? I like how she attacks the basket real hard. She's always looking to score, and then if she doesn't have an open lane, she's able to find the open person on the outside as well. Yeah, she had the open lane right there. Texas off to a 12-0 lead. Now we get to Neca in Impale, who entered Sunday's game with 992 career points, looking for 1,000. What was your thought process right now? You know, I didn't know in the game that I was eight points away from reaching 1,000 points, but obviously it's a great honor, a great accolade to, to get as an individual player. But in hindsight, I think I'll, I'll be able to appreciate that more 20, 30 years down the road. Okay, here it is at the free throw line. Did you think it would be a free throw? No, I didn't. <laughs> All right, that gets you to 999, and obviously that got you to 1,000 right there with the free throw. So 1,000 career points, what an accomplishment. We'll talk about that here in a second. Later in the second half, though, why stop at 1,000, right, Neka? Nope. Yeah, obviously going to go back in, collects the rebound, 1,000 and two career points, 10 points on the day for Neka. Texas wins, and they win impressively 74 to 34. We got the clicker. We're going to get to that here in a second, but let's talk about the milestone, what it means to you with your career to be in that type of category for Texas women's basketball? You know, it means a lot. I look at our All-American wall every single day, and I see players like Edwina Brown, you know, Clarissa Davis, and these are people who are part of this wall. But like I said before, it's not something well in the midst right now during this season that I'll be able to appreciate as much as I would be able to appreciate it, you know, 20, 30 years down the road. So you, you see yourself, like, in 20 years liking <laughs> this a lot more because you're focused on being the third-ranked team in the country right now, correct? Oh, yeah, obviously. Um, we've worked so hard, and the fact that we are the third-ranked team in the country right now doesn't mean as much as the journey that it took us to get here. L all right, you're, you're a TV pro. Let's get to that journey because that's my next question, and you've kind of been a huge part of it. You've seen the program really build up. Did you expect the program to get this good this quickly under Karen Aston? I knew that we had the potential. We, we have a group of girls who are really passionate and they have a lot of pride in what we do here and we knew that if we continue to work hard and continue to like listen to our coaches pay attention to the details that this program would reach the top was there a point maybe in practice or, or any time where you thought yeah this program's turning the corner right now i would have to say during the summer with coach mack our strength coach the mentality of this team Rose. Mm -hmm. With the, playing with him this summer and working out with him we saw like the competitive edge finally come to surface so yeah all right, let's get to the clicker here. Let's kind of show why you've scored so many points in your career. And one of the reasons is you seal so well, and it's even gotten better this season. I want you to take us through this. What is the key here to a good seal? Oh, we're going to go to play. And there you go. So that's the play right there. Let's go back a little bit, and I want you to show really how you do this because you make it look really easy, but it's obviously not. So as we go back here for the seal. Is there anything you're thinking on the front side here as the ball's coming to, to you? So initially when the ball is right here, I know that the defender is going to be in help because of the strong inside presence that we have. I know the advantage would be whenever they skip the ball around that I would be able to steal my defender off and ask for the ball high. And fortunately, Brooke finds me, puts it all the way up to the backboard where nobody else can reach, and I was able to um, convert it. Yeah, impressive stuff, and you guys have really had a nice high-low game. Let's get to the next one here because you kind of do all this on your own as <laughs> trying to get the ball into Kelsey, you're going to kick it out. Now, what are you thinking right here as this ball's up? You see you over here, and you're going to go one-on-one -on, -one on a rebound. I think it's my ball. That's, just, <laughs> that's the first thing that comes into my mind when a shot goes up is that if that if my teammate misses the ball, it's my job to pursue it and clean it up. And you do clean it up, get your hands on it, 
and then you finish as you've done so many times. And offensive rebounding for all the young players out there, is there any tip you can give? Because you seem to have that kind of knack that once you see the ball up, you know that you're going to go get it. Offensive rebounding is all about getting your feet to the ball as quickly as you can, and but most importantly, doing your work early because it's not easy to get a rebound, so you have to do your work early in order to get that position. Speaking of quick feet, we're going to show you on defense as well here. Watch you come back here in transition, and you're going to get the block. What does Coach Aston teach you guys in terms of transition defense? Because you guys really seem to be stopping teams who want to run on you. Transition defense, it's Brooke's job to be, to, be the, um, to be the first line of help all the way back. And then everybody else is supposed to rush to the paint. And then we fan out and, you know, pick up everybody else as they come down. So obviously they were able to find their defender, their offensive player. I see all you guys down. coming down, yeah. Yeah, so she, they found her and nobody was guarding her. So I just kind of went up and made the defensive block. Yeah, well, I mean, super impressive stuff. You've got Texas A&M coming up on Sunday. The Aggies are ranked fourth in the country. Mm -hmm. I know you've taken a little look at them. Not a lot of game prep so far, but what stands out about them? Um, they're a great program. They're one of those programs that have been dominant in the women's game for a very long time. So it's going to be a really great atmosphere for us to play in. It's going to be a very competitive game. We take a look at some highlights right now. Also, did you see the rivalry of this? What does it mean to you? You've been very successful against Texas A&M to play in this game one more time. You know, I don't want to jinx it, but I've played Texas A&M every single year since I've been here, and, you know, <laughs> we haven't lost. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't plan on losing this time around, but we know that they're a good team, that they're going to come hungry, they're going to come with the fight. All right, well, what's the next step for this team? How do you guys get better? I think in order for us to get better, we have to continue to practice the way that we know how to practice. We didn't get here by chance. What got us here was our hard work and our attention to detail and, you know, just playing together because we're a team that has a lot of depth and we have um, a, lot of pro a lot of potential, and I, I'm just excited for us. Nick, it's been so much fun. Thanks for coming in and breaking it down as a good co-host. Thank you.